Hey guys, it's Ashley. I got my Ipsy bag in the mail today, so I'm going to be doing a review of it. I'm going to open it right here for you guys. Um, I know some of you might already be into Ipsy. Um, if you're not and you're interested, I'm going to leave my link down below and above the comments. Um, check it out. It's pretty neat. I've been doing it for almost a year now, and I, I love seeing what they decide to send me. So, um, let's start. I gotta open this up. So, I'm not sure if you can tell. That's an egg. But this is the bag for, um, July. On the back it's, yeah. But, um, I don't know. It's kind of cute. Kind of weird, though. In my opinion, I use some of the bags as my purse. I don't know if I would really use this one, take it out. I mean, maybe it just might be home, my home bag for some of my makeup. So let's see here. Um, the first item is, it's a blending brush. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of backwards for you guys, I'm betting. Um, it's... Boo Gachis. I don't know if I said that right, but it says boogachis.com. I'll leave that in the comments too if you guys want to check out their products. I, um, I didn't say this before, but I am not sponsored by Ipsy. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just me doing this review just to put my opinion out there, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a few of these blending brushes from different brands. I actually love them. Um, just messing with it here. The Bristles aren't falling out, so I'm definitely going to try this out. Next item is Mongongo Lip Conditioner. It's Mandarin Green, Orange, and Ginger. Um, let's see. It says it's the Jersey Shore Cosmetics. Jersey Shore, sorry. Um, let's see if we can get it open. It smells pretty good. I mean, it actually smells like mandarin orange and a little, I, I guess you can smell that ginger in there too. I mean, it really moisturizes. It's, I, it kind of feels greasy to me, but I guess I'll definitely have to try that out. I mean, it says anti-aging, all natural, non-GMO, organic ingredients. Um, I'll leave more information for that down below too as well. Um, next item. Let's see here. What is this? Gel Coal Eyeliner. It looks like it's an. It's definitely an eyeliner. I'm guessing. I'm not sure what color. I'm trying to open it here. Some of these packaging. I can't tell what color it is from the outside. I'm guessing there might be two different colors. There we go. It's called Wonder Wand Gel Coal Liner by, I'm probably going to say that wrong too, Ciate London. <laughs> oh, okay, so one end is a brush to help um, smudge your eyeliner. The other side is an actual pencil. And it writes pretty easily. I mean, it comes off. I'm not going to do my makeup right now, but um, it writes pretty easily there, so that's pretty good. I usually go for the pens or the markers instead of the um, pencils because usually pencils aren't that easy to put on but that seems to go on pretty smoothly on well at least on my finger um I think let's see here I might be able to get a mirror excuse me for one second <laughs> Hey, 
it goes on pretty easily. I don't know if you can really tell that I have it on on that one eye. But it's not as dark as I'd like it to. Um, the markers, I seem to think, go on a little bit darker. And especially with, well, yeah, I guess you can see that. But with glasses, I like to have the darker makeup so that you can actually see past the glasses what's on my face. So that's their just their little pamphlet paper. Okay, next item is Cougar 24 Hour Liquid Lipstick. I got Mulberry. It's a little darker than I usually do, but um, it says it's 24 hours, so I'm gonna have to test that someday. Right now, it's pretty late in the day, um, so I won't be able to. But some morning, I should just. Put it on and see if it lasts all day. Let's see. A little mess up there, but um, for the most part, you can't really tell. But it's not, it's dark, but it's not that dark. It's not as dark as I thought it was. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to show. It's Cougar 24 hour lip stick. Um, it goes on pretty nice. It's dry. It's um. I want to see something. Yeah, it comes off really easily. I don't know if anyone's tried um, LipSense. They don't sponsor me either, but um, I do have some of their products. And that stuff actually will stay on all day. I have a 10-month-old, so it's kind of like when I'm kissing her and stuff, I don't want it all over her face, which it seems like this stuff will um, come off. Maybe it's not long enough to dry or whatever, but... Um, that's one of the things that I really do look into for lip stick, lip gloss, anything like that, that it's not going to come off on my child because she has sensitive skin. So, um, that might be for like when I go out and I have a babysitter and I'm not going to be around her. I mean, she likes, yeah, she's at that age where she likes to like touch my face too. So that kind of worries me a little bit with it coming off so easily. Um, not in the last item, I think, yep, this last item is, it's called Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories. If you can kind of see, it's like a goldish, shimmery. I do like goldish colors on me, um, more natural colors like browns, tans, that kind of thing. I do actually like, um... It's called Gold Rush Eyeshadow. Use in palettes and kits. Well, I didn't get a kit, so. But I might use it with other stuff they've sent me before. Let's see here. It's very small. Ooh. Let's see. I might use my brush to try this. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell. That's actually got a lot of tint to it. Like, I like that, the color, how it sticks out. Um, I'm going to see if it... It's not really... You know how, like, sometimes makeup goes right in the creases and it will just start clumping up? It's not doing that so far. So I shall see. Um... I definitely like that color. It's bright on me. Yeah, you can definitely tell on the computer. This side I didn't do. That side I did do. Um, trying not to get the glare on my glasses. But, yeah, I definitely will wear that because I like those type of colors. I like, the, like I said, the golds, the browns, the tans. Um, I don't really go too far out there with, like, the shiny glamour, but that I like that. 
Um, well, I guess that's the end of the bag. Um, overall, I do like the contents of it. I will be using a lot of these products. Um, like I said, the bag probably won't go out in public with me because, I don't know, I don't really like that design, but, I mean, it's another bag to hold makeup, so why not? Um, if you have any other questions or if you want to know more about products, I'm going to try to put some information down below. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see me do more stuff. Uh, I think the next video I'm going to do what I keep in my purse, like my um, products that I have gotten from past Ipsy's um, that I actually, I love. They're my favorites and I bring them everywhere with me. So I think that might be my next um, video. Well, see you later.